hair in. So I'm just going to show you guys my hair product collection thingy that I have going on because I have a lot of products and I'll talk a little bit about them about each thing. Um, I love most of my products. There's just a few that I mentioned that I just kind of, oof, just kind of got them. But yeah, so I hope you enjoy. So this is all my hair stuff there. I still have some in the bathroom, but that's okay. In the very back row is all my hairsprays from top, highest to shortest. And I have my bedhead masterpiece um, for the breast cancer and then just the normal one. Here is my Defy Destruct hairspray. This is my Got To Be Glued, which is really, really strong. And then I just got this one, L'Oreal. I don't know if I like this at all, but I got it. Um, another hairspray, this is one of my favorite light hold hairsprays, is Oasis Plus or something. Really good stuff. So here in the second row and third row are items I used to curl my hair and scrunch, and I just filmed a video about that, and I'll link it down in the bottom bar. So this is my number one favorite stuff for scrunching hair. It's a little old. It's a curl boost spray by Mark Anthony. This has got to be strong 124 hour power grip. This is um, a sea salt spray by Not Your Mother's. It's beach babe texturizing spray. It's, it's okay. I'd give it like a 7, but a lot of people like it. And this is something new I just got. It's a Venus Positively Nourishing Curl Defining Spray Gel. I don't know if any of you have tried it. It's pretty good though. I like it. I like how it sprays out. This is a discontinued product that I like and I have almost none left, but it's Brilliant Brunette Starlit Wave Enhancing Spray to Illuminate Brown Tones. You just shake it and spray it, but I lost the spray and they don't even make it anymore, so I only use it when I have to. <laughs> this is an Aveeno gel, but it's not like a strong gel, it's a smoothing gel. And this is a hard glue gel by Garnier. This is um, really good stuff. It smells good. It's a beach spray by Marc Anthony just to give you some texture into your waves. This is a new seed salt spray from Bath & Body Works I just picked up and I really like the smell of it. It's really good. This is my favorite smelling stuff for hair. It's not your mother's um, kinky moves curl defining and it smells like grape. It is just a hair perfume by Redken but it's like a sea salt spray. But really all it is is a hair perfume. This is a leave-in conditioner. It smells like cherry almond and it's by Tit. Tiggy or TG, love, love Peace and the Planet. This is what I use instead of mousse because I don't own any mousse right now. It's just um, a botifying gel by Short and Sexy. This is a really good curl boosting spray as well. And it's like really thick looking, but when you spray it, it's really soft. And this is my favorite hair serum by Paul Mitchell. It's the Skinny Serum. In this bottom shelf, um, the first row is heat protectants. Second is stuff you know, just random stuff, and then this is mostly just to make my hair smooth, except for those two. This is my Matrix Thermal Active Setting Spray, so it helps protect your hair as well as, like, kind of like a little hairspray. These are currently my three favorite um, heat protectants on the go. This one I just got, and I love the way it sprays. It gets a lot of your hair. It protects 425 degrees, or some Fahrenheit, of um, heat. And I spray this when I go in the sun as well. This one I've used for years, and it's Catwalk. This is my repurchased one. It smells so good. It smells like grape. And this one is a treatment for your hair and a leave-in conditioner, and it helps protect your hair from the heat. This is just my um, anti-snap by Redken, and it's almost gone. I have one in the bathroom that's more full that I use every day. Just a bigger version of my Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum. Just a, a second one of my Aveeno lotion cream stuff for your hair. This stuff I love, though. This is a dry shampoo by Batiste. And this is one is in Diva, and it smells really feminine and girly. I love this, and they really do work, so I recommend you getting one. And this stuff is great for holding curls in your hair. It's called Hot Sets by Redken. It has a hold of 22, and it's awesome. Um, it can make your hair really crunchy if your hair's really, really fine and you use a lot. But for me, it holds my hair in every um, all day long, but not too, too crunchy. This is my Bedhead After Party. It's a smoothing serum for your hair. I wouldn't use too much, though, and I just bought a mini one because I really don't use it that often for a big one. And this is um, my newest thing I got. It's Aveeno Smoothing Shine Cream. This works really well to smooth your hair out um, before you blow dry or after it's, or after you just wash it. But this would be my favorite smoothing cream to use. It's the Garnier Milk uh, Sleek and Shine. They used to have this. They discontinued it and then they brought it back. This is like before you blow dry. Uh, but I use it when I my hair's already done and stuff and it poofs out. I just smooth it right out on the ends. This is a little sample. I don't think it works very good. It's supposed to make your hair light, but I don't think it did. And lastly is my Matrix. Well, my boyfriend's Matrix. Um, gel stuff. 
or, or clay and use that to smooth down my braids and stuff. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. And I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.